Hello, this is Laya Quesada from Kailua, Hawaii. And this is my home beach right here, Kailua Beach. And this is RCMPB Minutes, where I give you the state of our club in one to two minutes. We have finished the first 90 days of this Rotary year. During this period, we received recognition from the district for how we finished the previous year. We did quite well, thanks to immediate past president, Rina Lopez's leadership and our club members' great work. We are a six-star club with six-star leadership, the highest level ever. And we won another 16 awards in various categories. We also received a Rotary International citation from past Rotary International President Shakar Mehta. This momentum continued during our first 90 days. In September, our club was honored for multiple things. Check this out. We are proud of our accomplishments. We also realize that these awards are mere outcomes of our collective passion for doing great work together. So what have we done in the past 90 days? It's all these things and more. Let me highlight some new milestones, all the things you see in red. We have implemented new government's processes to scope full year activities with predictable spending. Our members helped by paying their dues earlier. Our cancer screening mobile clinic helped many women in many communities. We have a first ever mentor mentee program between us and our Rotaractors. Members use their professional knowledge to create informative webinars like the eye care seminar, parent engagement in school, and coaching our nominee to the one Philippines. We have doubled the number of Paul Harris fellows and society members and Polya Plus society members, proving our members generosity. We are growing. We have new members and a soon-to-be satellite club. Member excellence is something we recognize regularly. We now have a new LinkedIn page and continue automating many things we do. Thank you. Our strength comes from you, our members, always motivated to do good and always exploring. In the next 30 to 60 days, we will execute our district pillar grant to train child health care development workers on early childhood development, focusing on child nutrition, learning, and mental stimulation. Lagad Larin is our second adopted community with a budding ecotourism. We will help them build a treehouse, one of the main attractions of their mangrove forest, and a balsa, which could generate revenue from visiting tourists. Work in progress is our three open global grants plus a fourth global grant for a mobile clinic for tuberculosis testing. Note this upcoming key events. October 25th is a club meeting with a special speaker. November 12th is the TRF Gala honoring our TRF donors. November 16th is a satellite club and a plus one recruitment night. The board of directors will meet on November 22nd. On November 25th, we have our first dinner fundraiser. I hope everybody can make it. And of course, our Christmas party is on December 2nd.
I often tell our club members that you being part of our club is one big help already for all our service projects. But if you have the time and would like to help some more, here are three suggestions. Be part of the planning committees for the community Christmas events happening either in one or two of our adopted communities. Fundraising. After the dinner fundraising, there will be more. So we need help in planning and orchestrating the fundraising events. And then thirdly, we're planning a health day of service in Lagad Larin in February 2023. We will have the cancer screening mobile clinic and perhaps other health services that we will come up with. So thank you. Thank you for contributing in every way possible. I will be in the Philippines starting November 11, and I hope to meet everyone who is around. Thank you again for being part of RCMPD. It is because of you that we have a solid and vibrant club. I'll see you all in a few weeks. Thank you.